Okay guys, so in this video I want to talk about the edit commands that you would use in order to uh, edit and manipulate entities that you've drawn on the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and open up draft site and uh, go ahead and open up our prototype drawing. Okay, so uh, over on this side of this of the uh, the screen, uh, you see all these commands over here in this toolbar. These are uh, these are what you would use in order to uh, manipulate or edit the entities that you've drawn on the screen. So um, you know a couple of these. Uh, well, delete obviously that's you know to delete an entity. You know, the shortcut for that would just be E for erase. Let me turn my cap lock back on. So E for erase. That'll that'll uh, erase or delete the entity off the screen. Uh, copy. That's a good one to to know. Uh, let's see. You can see the uh, the command down here. The command is C O P. Let's see. Uh, C O. Yeah, so CO would be the shortcut. So if we wanted to copy this, you know, we just type in CO, select the entity we want to copy, right click, and then, you know, copy our new entity. Uh, copy the entity as many times as we want. And erase that off the screen. A lot of these are just self explanatory. Uh, this mirror image, this is good. Uh, so, like, if we had a Say we had a, a entity or a, we had a figure drawn on the on the uh, screen that looked like this, you know, something like that, and you know we we want it to be we want the mirror image of that. Uh, all you have to do is type in. Well, let's see, another CAD command is MI. Yeah, so it's MI for draft site too. So type in MI. And then, uh, before I do that, let me explain something about selecting an, selecting any kind of entity on the screen. So if you notice, uh, I can select this entity without having to window around the whole thing. If you window from left to right, it doesn't select it unless you encompass the whole thing in your window. However, if you select, if you window from right to left, it'll select it so you might want to keep that in mind so I don't know if you've noticed but when I've been selecting things that instead of like clicking on it I'll just kind of window from right to left to select it that way so um, type in MI for mirror select my object give it a base point and then the end point of the mirror line there and then it's asking me if I want to delete the the old entity, the, the source entity, the one that's highlighted in blue. I'm going to go ahead and type in Y for yes. And so there we go. Um, so that, that may come in handy, I don't know. Uh, I haven't really used it as far as... Um, yeah, I don't think I've used it at all. I was thinking maybe I used it on my, when I was designing my bench work, but I don't even think I used it then. Um, so we talked about offset. That one's pretty obvious. If you remember again, the the uh, the command is O, and then just specify your distance, and then select the side you want to offset. Uh, rotate. We'll look at that one in a minute. Scale. We'll look at that one in a minute because I want to go over those two together. Stretch. Uh, I don't think we really need to look at that one. Uh, so the ones I do, the one I do want to look at is fill it again, and uh, we'll look at trim again. Uh, there's P edit. They're calling it edit edit polyline. If you remember that from earlier. Oh, explode. I want to look at that one too. So yeah, so let's look at uh, well, let's look at let's go back and look at trim again. So 
when you want to trim an object, you know, if you have a a line drawn on the screen somewhere, and you have another line, you know, and you want to take off, say, this this part of the line here, well, you have to specify a cutting edge, which is going to be this line going like this. So if we type in TR for trim, and we want to select the cutting edges, so we're going to select that, and so like in CAD, it's going to keep on asking you to specify parameters until you right click to tell it I don't want to give you any more input. So there I hit the right mouse button or you could hit uh, enter on the screen. Uh, and then it's asking you for the, the, the segments to be removed. We want to remove this side of the line so I'm going to click on that. So um, that's how the trim functions perform. Uh, let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. So if we do the trim command again, this time we want to take off this this side of the line and we want to take off this side and we want to leave this in the middle. So if I go back into trim and it's asking me for cutting edges. So this time I'm you know I'm going to select that one but again until I tell it to end the input for you know the the cutting edges or the or the uh, the objects that I want to use to cut it, it's going to enable me to select as many as I want so I'm going to select this one which I already have and I'm going to select this one then I'm going to tell it to stop by hitting enter or the right mouse button and it's asking me for the segments to remove so I want to take that off and I want to take that off and so that's how you would do that so in some of these commands you'll notice that it'll it'll keep the command open until you tell it I you know by hitting either the right mouse button or enter that you do not want to specify any more uh, arguments or any more parameters okay so you might want to be mindful of that uh, let's see that was trim what was the other one? Oh yeah the fillet command um, <clears throat> Yeah, you know, I don't think really I need to go over that one again. I mean, I think I've gone over that one twice. It is a, an important command. Uh, so, yeah, I don't really see the need to go over that one any anymore. Uh, okay, so let's talk about... Let's talk about Explode. Okay, so what, what Explode does is it puts uh, entities back into their original state. So what I mean by that is if you have a you know a poly a polyline drawn on the screen like this you know remember it treats that all as one entity right so if I select it it's all one entity okay but say I've drawn a polyline on there a figure like this and uh, uh, say I do not want it to be all one entity I want it to be just four individual lines okay so all you'd have to do is explode the object. So let's see here they're saying that uh, the command, if you look down here again, the command is explode. Let's see, I know in AutoCAD the shortcut's just X. Yep, so it works here too. So if you just type in X for explode, select the object, right mouse click, now we have four individual entities on the screen. The one to join them back together would be P, P edit, remember? P E. Select and then uh, remember we exploded it back into a line. It was no longer a polyline, so now it's asking us if we want to turn it into one. So Y for yes. And then we're going to type in J for join. So since this is a polyline, if we select this one, the rest of these will inherit the properties of a polyline and it'll, they'll all join together. Okay. Um, uh, zooming. Okay, so yeah, so I've been using the, the, the mouse wheel to, to, you know, to zoom in, you know, roll it in, roll it out. If you hold down the mouse wheel or your middle mouse button, you know, you'll get the little hand image there and you can pan. Uh, there should be a you can type in pan I think 
Mm, no. Wait, yeah, pan. And the little hand pops up. You can do it that way too. Hit escape. Uh, if you want to zoom using the window, using a window, type in Z for zoom. And it's asking you for the first corner. So if we wanted to zoom in this area right here, you know, let me undo that and I'll show you that again. Z for zoom. And then specify the first corner. Uh, let's say we just want to window this right up here. We only want to look at this. Okay. Control Z to, to undo that. Now, uh, Z to zoom. You notice there's one in here that says uh, dynamic. Okay. Um, well, let's see here. Let's see if it works like AutoCAD. So there's another way. If you wanted to zoom, say like you were you were looking at the screen here, and you wanted to zoom. You know, you wanted to zoom out uh, two times, which the way you would do that is you would type in Z for zoom and then 0.5x like that. If you wanted to zoom in, you type Z for zoom and zoom in 2x. You could do that same thing again, uh, 2x. You see, it's going to take us in closer, and closer, and closer. Uh, the 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 command to zoom everything, zoom extents, would just be zoom, Z for zoom. And then, as you can see, uh, well, they're saying bounds. I don't know if. Let me try extents. I know in AutoCAD it's E for extents. Okay, yeah, so that works too. So that would be everything on your screen. So if you had a line, say you had a line drawn down here somewhere out to the side, and you were zoomed in here and you said z zoom extents, it's going to pick up, you know, everything that's on the that's in the model space. So I'm just going to erase that. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to talk about, and I think we'll be able to, to wrap up the edit commands in one video, which is good. Uh, we'll talk about layers in the next video. So the, ne the, the last two commands, edit commands I want to talk about are the scale and zoom. I mean uh, the scale and the rotate. So if we have an entity drawn on the screen like this, I'll tell you what, I'm going to turn my ortho on so it'll be nice and straight across the screen like that. If you type in RO for rotate, it's asking you to specify the entity, so we're going to select that. Now again, you can, it's going to keep on asking you until, until you tell it, I don't want to select anymore, which we're only going to do one here, so I'm going to right click to hit enter. And then it's asking me for the pivot point, or the base point, so I'm just going to select the end of the line here. So now it's asking me for to specify the angle, okay? If you remember back in, the, I think it was the first video, uh, we specified the base angle is going across the screen from left to right along the x-axis and then everything turning clockwise off that line, right? So, um, uh, this is why I did that. Remember that's not only for the information that is displayed to you, but it's also for how you input the information. So here, if I wanted to rotate uh, clockwise, you know, this to where it looked like that, then I'm just going to type in 90, rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. There you go. I'm going to undo that. So if I wanted to rotate it counterclockwise or up this way, like specify base point up like this, then I could, you know, type in negative 90 or I could type in 270 which would still be the angle right but you know it's 270, 270 degrees around this way like this so uh, there's a little bit more to uh, rotating than that and uh, we'll look at that as, as the videos progress but just for the, as far as just the basic uh, 
command of rotate that's pretty much all there is uh, scale is it's scales pretty similar in a way so if we type in um, S, SC is a shortcut uh, select the entities we want to scale okay and you got to give it a base point as well so if we wanted this line to be half the length that it currently is we just type in 0.5 right so that would be that would be that line scale to half uh, 0.5 or one half you know if we wanted to double it type in SC type in 2 so that would be double so really it's, it's just a multiple you know whatever you want to scale you know the line or figure by I mean we could scale this like if we had this closed polyline here you know we wanted to scale it well let's click on it so the perimeter is uh, about 186 feet right so half of that would be what roughly about 93 point what three two five something like that so if we scale it select the object give it a base point I'm just going to select right in the middle and then I'm going to give the scale factor of 0.5 now if we click on the perimeter yeah 93.32 I said 5 93.327 so you can see how it scaled it in half if I wanted to put it back where it was to scale it by a factor of two okay and you will use the scale command in some situations so guys I think that's really about it uh, for the edit commands at least at a high level you know for what we're going to be using it for I'm sure we will come across commands that we'll need to use and I'll just explain them you know when we get to that point but in the next video, I want to be able to explain layers because they're going to be very important as well. Uh, and as you can see, this is your layer. Uh, this is your layer drop down up here. And as you can see right now, we have two layers by default. We have a layer zero and a layer called death points. Okay. So in the next video, we'll talk about that. And until then. Uh, I hope, I hope this is helping everybody, and we'll see you guys in the next video.